Greetings, Studio Scrappers. This is Studio Scrapping with Amy. I'm your host, Amy Yulin, independent consultant with Close to My Heart. I'm really excited to be bringing you my next Photoshop tutorial. And this time I've included some free downloads. So as you can see on my Dreaming of Disney layout, I uh, converted my title box to a photo well and I created this title in Photoshop. I also um, replaced the single large seven and a half by seven and a half inch photo with this little photo cluster. And then over here I have these two and a half by two and a half inch photos that again I modified in Photoshop so that it looks like the photo is curling up and has a little bit of drop shadow. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to Studio Scrapping. So that's studioscrapping.blogspot.com. And over here, you'll click on my freebies link. And right now, I only have one set of freebies, but you will um, want to check back here often. Uh, and so you're going to go ahead and click on Dreaming of Disney zip file and you can go ahead and either open the file or simply save it and it will automatically come up um, and then you'll just simply have to extract the files. And so once you extract them, then you'll go ahead and um, choose where you want them. I'll just leave it at the default for right now and it pops up. So then what I can do is once those files have been saved, I'm gonna go ahead and let me move this out of the way and open up my Photoshop Elements. And then when you have this file open or your folder open, you can hit, simply hit Shift, click on all of them, and then drag it right into um, Photoshop. And then I'm going to close this, hopefully, once everything opens up. All right, so here we have, let me just minimize this. Here we've got the title, and this um, font I actually downloaded from dafont.com. It's called Waltagra or Waltograph, and it was a free font that I simply modified in Photoshop. And um, so you're not going to need to download that font unless you want to change your title. And then in that case, I recommend you look at my um, first Photoshop video to help you with the title. And then on these smaller images, all you'll need to do is simply click inside of um, the, the photo frame and you will um, copy and paste your picture that you want inside that frame in um, these two various frames. And then you just make sure that you save it as a PNG file and that'll make sure that it's transparent. And so then any background that you put it on, um, it's going to um, have the drop shadow like I do in my um, layout here. So I put it on this um, background paper and it shows the drop shadow. I put it on white paper, it shows the drop shadow. Okay, so back to Photoshop Elements. So those are pretty easy. Let's talk about the collage and kind of why I did the collage like this is simply because um, I wanted you to still get the um, drop shadows. So we're actually using um, many layers. So what you would want to do is open up the photos that you want to use in your um, action bin. And then I'm going to choose, I'm going to load this photo first. So I'm going to select my move tool. Since I want my photo frame on top of the picture, I'm going to select my layer four. 
and then I'm going to come down and click on the photo that I want and I'm simply going to drag it in the general vicinity it really doesn't matter if it's not exact and then I'm going to use my scroll wheel to scroll out a little bit so that I can see my bounding boxes now if you don't see the bounding boxes, let me zoom in a little bit. If you don't see those, you're going to select show bounding box. If you are unable to scroll with your scroll wheel, then you're going to come over here to edit preferences, select general, and make sure zoom with scroll wheel is selected. Then you'll hit OK. Um, that just is a little you know bit of a time saver so then what I'm gonna do is hold down my alt key and just grab one of my corners and um, start moving that picture around and so then again I'm not uh, I'm just gonna hit my check mark I'm not keeping it that size but my picture ended up being um, on top of my layer four and I want it below that so I'm going to just drag it down a little bit there that way I can see what I'm doing and then again I'm going to hold down my control key and that allows me to resize and then I can keep moving this image around until it is exactly placed where I want it okay then once I like that I'm going to hit my checkbox and I'm going to commit to that so then the next step is over here notice that that black box that's actually going to be our clipping mask and so I'm going to hold down my alt key and look at what happens to my um, pointer when I run my mouse in between those lines the cursor becomes this little um, two circles so holding down alt I'm just going to click my left mouse once and what happens is that that image now is clipped to that little black box so I can do the same thing with my other images so I'm going to select layer 6 I'm going to drag this picture up on top of it it'll be roughly in the right area but again look at how huge that picture is so I'm holding down alt just to constrain my aspect ratio and then I'm going to move the picture until I'll probably have to make it a little bit smaller or maybe a tad bit bigger might be better anyway you will play around with this my there you go my sizing is a little bit off but that's all right that looks good okay again holding down my alt key till the cursor changes and I just um, repeat this process until I have the collage looking the way that I want it now if you find that as you're doing this and the um, images are you know not lining up properly kind of like this bottom image isn't quite lining up properly what you can do is just go ahead and make sure that you highlight if let's say I want to move that image down a little bit I'm going to select my all the layers by holding down my shift key Oops, actually I don't want layer one Oops, I want my layer two and then my mask then once I've selected all of those then I can go ahead and move that um, down ever so slightly you just have to be careful because there's the drop shadow and you don't want the drop shadow to go off the edge or else it'll be a really hard edge on your image and that wouldn't look good and so let me just quickly drop in my final image and then I'll take you back to the actual layout 
you can see that once you get the hang of this, it actually goes really fast. And if you are utilizing your um, scroll wheel, it makes it a lot faster. And then it, because it lets you just really look, um, you know, get up close. I mean, I could get up even closer if I wanted to using my scroll wheel to make sure that I fit the whole thing into that picture before I commit it to the mask. But again, you know, even once I've masked it, I'm still able to move it around a little bit. Okay. So let's zoom out. So again, you want to make sure that um, when you save this, you're going to do a file save as because um, you don't want to save over the original photo collage and you want to change the name. Right now it's a Photoshop file. So we want to change this to a PNG file. We're going to give it a new name. You know, I'm just going to call it Disney for now. Okay, and then um, you just hit save, you hit OK, and you're ready to go back into your Studio J layout. So here I am. So all I have to do is upload my photo and uh, wherever you saved it you're just going to go ahead and upload it and when you drop it in to this photo well um, you're going to notice that it looks like the photos are bending up so maybe there's a little bit of adhesive here or a little bit of adhesive here but it's um, clearly oops, labeled or um, adhered at the top of the um, layout. So basically what I did, and I'll zoom in on this side, um, up on my title, I made my brads at 60%. Um, down here for my collage, my brads are 90% on this one, 62% on this one. 90% and 55%. So kind of depending on how um, large the actual image was, um, was dependent on how big I made the brads. So like these are 52%. Um, so hopefully you will have tons of fun with those um, downloads. Don't forget they look really fun, adhered with staples, maybe even like a staple right there or a stickies or something that would show that, you know, there's a little bit of weight or adhesive on that um, middle section to um, make it look like the photo is curling up. So I can't wait to see what you create with that. So hopefully you'll come to my um, Facebook page and um, post your layouts. I would love to see them, love to see what you create with these um, freebies. So until next time, happy scrapping.